Hi, my name is Hugh Gonzalez, and today I'm going to show you how to use our high speed braille uh, app for Illustrator and Rasterlink. This video is accompanied by our high speed braille with UDF series printers how to paper. You can find this on our resources page on our website. Before we begin, I'd like to point out that this is available for any of our UJF Mark II E-Series printers and our UJF 7051 Plus II. All LH100 configurations are supported for the high-speed option. Be sure to update your Rasterlink, Rasterlink tools, Memaki driver, and the latest profiles for your printer for this to work. This tool prepares the file for processing in Rasterlink. First step is to open the Mamaki Rasterlink tools once it's been installed. This has tools for many other functions within Rasterlink, including our new Kebab HS working tool. The first thing I like to do is secure the layout by placing a white or blank shape the size of the media. The reason I do this is the software saves as an EPS, but it does not give us the option to save the artboard layout later on. I'm going to lock the background in place, and then I'm going to select all the portions of the art that are going to be raised. So I'm going to have raised braille, raised text, and raised pictogram. Then I'm going to select the braille option. Here under mode, you have three options, high speed, standard, and compliant. Compliant is our legacy function that created Braille and just Braille. Standard is the new faster processing uh, build with clear ink. So you must have a clear ink configuration to use this. But today we'll be using high speed. High speed is a composite build, so it is a lot faster. On a 6042 MK2E, building in about 35 minutes for the whole table. Under setting, you have four levels. Each level corresponds to height. Level three builds to about 0.7 millimeters. This should be enough for most municipalities. Level four will build up to 0.9 millimeters if your municipality needs the higher height. And then you have two composite orders. In this composite order, it'll print anything, any color data below the build. And on the second um, option, it'll build, it'll print the color on top. With this, you have the option, of course, to cover it with white so that you can, um, so that the color has pop. I'm going to save this and send it directly to a Rationalink hot folder. The default options should work just fine. One of the main ones I like to keep an eye on is the preset for high resolution. When saved to the hot folder, Rasterlink automatically detects and imports the file images. With one save, there are two layers that are loaded. On the top, you have all of the color information, and depending on what order you select, this color information may come below. This was the green bar on the options. The other layer is the build layer and it is identified with the braille icon. If you click on the build layer, you'll see that this already has the braille high speed or the mode that you selected. The primary thing you want to do here is make sure that you have the proper profile that you'd like to use for the color layer. And then choose your layout. And that's it. You can rip and print. If you want your final braille build to be white with a color background, just like I have here, you're gonna design your sign in the final colors and look that you're attempting. Again, you're going to select the portions that are going to be raised, the text, braille, and possibly a pictogram. Select the braille, um, select the braille output menu. Select your conditions, 
with the color information on last and the braille with white and then select output. We're going to save to the same hot folder. And just a side note, you can actually save these files onto a thumb drive if your computer with rash link is elsewhere. You're going to check the same things. Make sure this has the right profile. And then choose your layout. And here's another fun little tip. If you make a mistake in how high you want to build it or what you want the final color to be, you can modify this all within RashLink. So first of all, if we select the Braille layer, then we go to Job Attributes and we hit Setup, you can actually modify how much it's going to be raised. See, it tells you level 4 will be up to 0.9 millimeters while level one will only be 0.3 millimeters. You can use this for other applications besides braille or ADA signage. You can create textures to the desired height. Let's do one more example. Let's say that for this one, we want the build layers to end up in black. Let's say we want this to have a color background as well. We go back to our build portion select the braille option and in this case since we're not going to be covering up with white we can actually have it print the background first this will print the blue before printing the raised portion you can also modify these like any other print layer for example if you want to add a layer of primer you can select your layers go to composition and release the layers. Here, you can actually still change the order, but for now, we're going to add a primer layer. You can select all three and recomposite these. Go back to your profile settings and then choose your layout and that's it you can rip and print thank you for joining us be sure to check out our resources page for this and other applications